Hey guys, uh, out here hanging out in my garage. So I have my, uh, my garage is kind of my man cave for, for outdoor days. But I wanted to show you my man cave downstairs. So you access my man cave through my garage, which is convenient. And here we go. I'm going to give you a little tour. Uh, try to hit on some of my favorite things. Um, this is kind of an overview of all my stuff. So I've got a lot of NECA toys, Arcade 1-Up, um, Funko Pop Fan. Um, you'll see a lot of Boba Fett. Um, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, uh, Jaws, The Goonies. You know, these are my favorite movies, so... You'll see a lot of artwork uh, around with this, with this stuff. There's my entry door. Uh, thank you, Shutterfly, for all my magnets. There's my uh, refrigerator, and I have some trick or treat masks up here. Um, a few good ones, some really good ones. I uh, got a lot of Legos. Love Beetlejuice. Um, arcade one up. I've got about six cabinets, I think. Uh, let's see here. I got a big collection of tiki's, so all throughout you'll see tiki mugs as well. I have a shoe collection. That is not all of them. Those are just all of my Jurassic Park Reeboks. Uh, bought the whole set when they came out. Uh, you'll see a lot of Matt Ferguson art um, everywhere. Uh, big Gremlins fan, so you will see my Gremlins all over the place. There's a Lego Nintendo that's all been set up. I bought this candy machine at an antique store for like a hundred bucks. That was a steal. Um, I do have stuff just laying on the ground. Uh, if you see boxes of NECA figures, they mostly have the figures in them. That's just for saving space um i have so many i have over 100 box neca figures i just don't have the shelf space for it i am a collector some people say you're not a collector if you don't take them out of the box well if you know anything about neca figures they love to fall down at all hours of the night so while you will see a few of them out um a bunch i have a bunch out but over 75 percent of my neca figures are still in the box I've uh, got the Hot Toys DeLorean from Back to the Future Part 2. Big fan of this one. Uh, that's a great uh, piece that I just added not too long ago. Got your flux capacitor in there. Just a cool piece. Got the old sports almanac there. Um, I do have a wall of pop figures. Boba Fett's protecting them for us. Um, fig pins. Uh, I only collect certain ones, uh, X-Men and um, The Simpsons. They're just from my childhood. I I love those. So um, I do have a lot of firearms. What man cave is complete without protection? So yeah, there's all my handguns. Everything's legal that you see down here, guys. So don't call the ATF on me, all right? Everything that I have is 100% legal, and I've... Um, gone through a background check and uh, I'm a former army ranger so uh, yeah I don't usually have an issue I get uh, approved right there so yeah have some some nice firearms on the wall um, this is a completely enclosed basement the only access door is right there and it's a steel door and I have a lock on it so it's basically unless you were to drill through the hole or drill through, through uh, my floor upstairs that'd be about the only way you could break in here i'd say um it's an unfinished basement guys i took sheets black sheets and and stretched them over the tresses kind of like you would uh felt on a pool table um so it gives it just a more uh, a nicer look you know you don't see all that exposed truss now over here i do have some exposed trusses and that's just because there's too much pipe and crap to go around um, so if you're looking for an idea of how to how to maybe make that look better in your unfinished basement, uh, Walmart Black, um, their, their name brand sheets, um, the Walmart brand sheets. 
So uh, let's see, a pretty big couch here. It's about 25 linear feet of couch, so the whole family can sleep on this, and we have. Um, we'll scoot around here. Sorry, I had pizza last night. Got some uh, some aliens rebox there. That's three pairs. Um, and then if you notice here is, is kind of my entertainment, uh, the whole basement's an entertainment area, but this is where my 75 inch Sony TV is. Um, lots of shelves, lots of stuff. I have a steel book collection, probably over, I'd say 150 steel books. Um, just some fun stuff, guys. This is a modded cabinet, uh, arcade one up. It was a street fighter two cabinet. And I modded it with a retro pie, and then uh, I, I do like to play with this controller as well. <laughs> so I have that uh, that all set up. Pretty cool. Uh, moving along, um, got some NECA body body wobblers there that are going crazy. Um, that's a pretty cool Mandalorian piece. Can't remember where I got it from. <clears throat> Dancing bears, incense burner. 18-inch uh, Batman pop. I've got a lot of expensive Funko Pops. I've been collecting them since the beginning, so I have the original Simpsons ones that are worth about 400 bucks a piece. Uh, got those Dark Knight ones that seem to be climbing in value as well. Um, let me step back here. So Alien. Uh, all my Tiki's here. Let's see. Yeah, bunch of Tiki's up there. And then as I pan down, you'll just see steel books and tiki's. It's kind of where I do a lot of uh, of my entertainment. I like physical copies. You never know when the internet's going to go out, um, and you need those physical copies. So this is all my NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So as you can see, all of these two packs. Um, there are a lot of them. There is only one that I never got, and it was April O'Neil and Foot Soldier. So um, I think that's the only one that escaped me. I could never find it. And I don't feel like paying $300 for it now because uh, jerks are on eBay. Um, just a bunch of cool stuff, guys. People come down here and spend hours just looking around. It's like a, a toy museum. So bunch of NECA stuff there. Spirit Halloween, uh, if you go there, um, September, October, you usually find the good stuff. Uh, a lot of these pieces are from Spirit Halloween as well. Um, got some shoes up there. Uh, let's see. All of this good stuff. Just running out of room, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's about a thousand square feet of basement here. And it is just completely covered. So, if you want to sit down, you got to move one of these guys. <laughs> um, back up, got some cool prints, some cool Batman 89, quarter scale figures, a bunch of Beetlejuice uh, collectibles, um, NECA, uh, Tiki's, and then uh, Funko, and, and again, uh, Spirit Halloween. Is responsible for a lot of that um, these are all behind you can see behind the toonie tears are boxes those ever all of those still have the figures in them and never pulled them out um, not because I plan on selling them I am a collector but I just don't have anywhere to display all this crap so I have a problem and uh, I don't have a lot of uh, money to move because all my money goes into this obviously so that's a little stroll around i'm gonna catch the back here i got a simpsons arcade cabinet some robocop uh, neca toys again the boba fett um area down here i even have some has uh, hasbro turtle stuff or maybe that's mattel i can't tell i don't know doesn't matter it's all it's all boxed up um, one last thing I wanted to show you, so I probably have about 300 pops going along this beam. I'm going to try to get them all. It was just a cool place 
I got this beam all the way across my basement so I loaded it up and there are last time I counted about 300 pops just on the beam here in the basement there's my pride and joy of the Simpsons I do have all the boxes for these I do display them but I have a huge storage shed and all my boxes are out there up on pallets so that water doesn't get to anything um, got some nerf stuff just a pretty cool place to hang out it, it has grown significantly over covid when you know when jerk offs in office uh decided that uh they're gonna shut the world down i went out and bought a bunch of crap to make myself happy in my house <laughs> so uh money well spent um ghostbusters again yeah there's my hasbro pack sl uh, slightly modded just uh, you know some things here and there uh, NECA Gremlins again. Right now I'm working on an Ecto-1 build. Um, it was Eagle Moss, but they got uh, bought out by Fan Home. Well, they went out of business and Fan Home was lucky enough, uh, or we're lucky enough that Fan Home picked it up so I could actually finish this model that I've already sunk probably $1,200 into uh, and I only have maybe eight issues left. So um, the base is in, is in storage because I'm completely finished with the internals, the wheels and everything. So that is a large piece as well. It's not sitting on the ground just because I don't, I don't want people tripping over it um, before I get the whole thing together. Um, I don't know guys, maybe you see something you like or something I didn't talk about. Hit me up in the comments. Um, more than happy to, uh, to tell you where I got it. If I can remember most of this stuff, I have pretty good memory. I can remember. Um, just uh, hit uh, subscribe. Hit like for the video if you saw anything cool. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more videos here soon. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff down here that I probably should do a review for. So stay tuned.